Today I'll be showing you how to make a Jupiter Mars dance just like this. So first let's go over the sprites. The first one is called Planet, it has the Sun, Mars and Jupiter. The second one is called Rays and in this one we will be using Pen so we don't need a costume. The third one is a backdrop and it's just a dark space one. Let's get started. So we're going to set up our planet first. We're going to create a new block and call it Create Planet. Then we will add four inputs name, distance, size, and steps. We want this to run instantly, so we're going to run without screen refresh. And there we have it, our very own block. Now, we have three costumes, and we want them all to be on the screen at the same time. To do that, there's only one way. We need to create a clone of myself. Then, we're going to make four new variables. Planet clone ID. And make sure these are all for this sprite only, because for this sprite only also means for this clone only. Then, planet angle, and all of these need to be for this sprite only. Planet steps, and finally, planet distance. Okay, let's hide all of them now. We need a list too, and we'll just call it locations. This can be for all sprites, and we'll also hide that. So, we're going to set our planet clone ID to the length of locations. Then, we're going to add 0 to locations. So, the reason for this is because everything starts at x0, and we'll also be adding add distance to locations. So the reason for this is because, well, we want distance. And at first, the distance is just going to be Y. Then these are going to be pretty simple. Switch costume to name. Set size to size. Set planet steps to steps. And set planet distance to distance. And when we start, we just want the planet angle to be zero. Then we will go to x0 because, as I said, we'll start at x0 and y distance, just like in the list. Finally, we will show. Now we have our very own function. But wait, this doesn't actually run yet. To do that, we need a when clicked. Now, when clicked, we're going to set planet distance to minus one. So, why do we do that? Because we don't want the main sprite to do anything. So then we're going to hide because again we don't want the main sprite to do anything and we're going to delete all of locations. This is because if we didn't do that, every time we click the green flag, new stuff would be added to locations. So finally we're at the phase where we can use our custom block. So we drag out three and then let's put it right next to our custom block so we can easily see what it should be. So the name, sun, Mars and Jupiter. Now, of course, you can change Mars and Jupiter to any other planet. And now we need the distance. So for Sun, it's going to be zero because it's supposed to be in the middle. For Mars, let's just do 50. And for Jupiter, it's going to be 171, so a lot farther than Mars. So now we need size. Of course, our Sun is going to be the biggest with 100. Then Mars is going to be pretty small, only 35, and Jupiter will be 70. Then we have steps, so first one 0, the second is 12.6, very exact, and third is 2. Okay, so that's pretty nice, but it still doesn't rotate around the sun, so let's do that. For this, we're going to make a new message and we're going to call it rotate. Now, as you can see, we haven't broadcast as rotate anywhere here. We're going to broadcast it in rays. Now, we're going to say if the planet distance is bigger than zero, then it's going to do it. So the reason for this is because the main sprite and sun should not work because they don't need to rotate. Then, each planet should have an angle between 0 and 360. In each step, the number increases by a specific number of steps. So, by steps, I mean planet steps. We're going to get set planet angle 2, and another circle that's also planet angle, and planet angle plus planet steps. 
but if we just put this in then we can have degrees like 361 and stuff and that's not a real degree so i'm sorry guys but i'm going to bring some math stuff in mod 360 don't panic this is very simple so if it turns 360 it's going to turn zero again and that's all now we have to calculate the new position of the planets and actually put them there so if you have the angle which is planet angle and the radius which is planet distance and you assume that the planet rotates in a perfect circle then it's easy we just need sine and cosine so we're going to do sine of planet angle and cosine of planet angle and this should be multiplied by planet distance and we're going to go to x so it actually goes somewhere and x is going to be for sine and y is going to be for cosine finally we need to update the positions which we'll later use to draw lines between the planets so by that i mean the positions in locations so the list and what better way to replace something than use the replace item block so we're going to replace item planet clone id plus one with x position so the reason we're doing plus one is because the first clone id will be zero so we need plus one so it actually gets the first item and this is going to be x position and then we're going to duplicate it and plus two is going to be y position and yeah we're done with the sprite now so let's move on to race now i think this is pretty simple we're going to go to extensions and get out the pen extension so we have a bunch of new blocks here then it will erase all so it doesn't show us the past pens whenever we click the green flag and pen up so if you imagine a paper and a pen if the pen is up it's not drawing on the paper the same applies to scratch we're going to set pen color to white, of course you can change this if you like. I just think it just gives a really good contrast against the dark space background. And we're going to set pen size to 1, which you can change again. My favorite block in Scratch is coming out now, forever. But first, let's do when green flag clicked so this program actually runs. Okay, inside we're going to do broadcast rotate and wait. The wait is very important, if you just broadcast rotate, then it's not going to work properly. So why do we need this and what does it mean? Well, if you broadcast rotate and wait, it will wait until everything here is finished. Then it will resume. Okay, now we need to draw the lines. So we're going to go to X, item 3 of locations and Y, item 4 of locations. Now why are we doing this? Why not item 1 and 2? Well that's because item 1 and 2 are reserved for the sun. Now we will pen down and duplicate. This time it will be for Jupiter instead of Mars. So it's going to be item 5 and item 6. And we will pen up again. So let's start the program and see what happens. So as you can see it's drawing the pattern. If you are interested in more patterns, then you'll love this video too.